We often tend to think that fatty liver is caused because of the fat-rich food that one has been consuming. But is that the case? Let us explore about that and much more in this episode. What are the causes? What can be done about the scene? Whether it is reversible? What are the various stages of the scene? All will be discussed in this episode. Fatty liver, as the name suggests, it is a buildup of fat on the liver cells, also called hepatic ketosis. So it mainly happens because of the impaired functioning of liver. Ayurvedically understood, it is basically the metabolism or agni that is getting hampered. So is it because of the increased amount of fat consumption that one gets fatty liver? Well, not always. Yes, of course, diabetes, obesity, high BP and high cholesterol can be the causative factors for fatty liver, but that is not always. Let me explain the same with the help of one of the examples. While we were in college, we were barely like 24-25, one of my batch mates was diagnosed with grade 2 fatty liver. She never used to eat heavy rich food. Her diet was very erratic because her appetite was erratic. She was barely 4-8 in height and her weight was less than 45 kg. Despite of that, she was diagnosed with total cholesterol being above 400. So as per the modern science, she is not supposed to get the same because she has not been eating heavy, nor is that she is towards the obese side. But now, when we ponder the case deeper, it makes more sense. And that was because her agni or appetite was erratic and she never used to eat on time. So here lies the thing, when you have an erratic appetite, or when your metabolism is hampered, then again you are prone to fatty liver. So what are the common foods that can lead to the same? On a larger spectrum, it can be heavy, creamy, greasy food like fat-rich cream, milk, yogurt, red meat, sugary drinks, sugary foods, sweet, heavy, creamy foods like the baked goods, then the processed food and egg yolk. All of these makes one prone to fatty liver. The reason being simple that they are quite heavy to be broken down, thus having a tendency to accumulate on the liver, especially when you lead a sedentary life. Now talking about the various stages of fatty liver, which are the ones that you need to be cautious about, which are the ones that needs treatment right away. Stage 1 is called steatosis, wherein there is buildup of fat on the liver cell. Stage number two, where there is also inflammation, that is, there is fat as well as inflammation. That is exactly the time when you need to start really taking care of it, because if the inflammation remains, then that can make it a fatal condition. The third stage is fibrosis, wherein there is long-standing inflammation, which brings in scarring of the tissues of the liver, as well as the blood vessels surrounding the scene. Now this is a real red signal and you really need to start taking care of your liver health. The fourth stage is cirrhosis, wherein the liver shrinks in size because of the long-standing inflammation and the fact that you have not been really taking care of it. And then it becomes lumpy. Most often, you will need a transplant at the end of it. Yes, of course, Ayurvedically, there are remedies to the same, but then again, it is best not to make the liver health reach that stage. Well, how do you figure out whether you have got fatty liver at the first place? Usually, there are no major symptoms felt. At the most, there will be fatigue with mild upper right abdomen ache and even weight loss. The other way to figure out the same is through a scan plus changes in the LFT. In the much progressed stages, you may even experience yellowishness of skin, clearer, which is the white portion of the eye, Dark stools, dark urine, vomiting, vomiting out blood, bruises, and a whole lot of other issues. Now, which is the stage that you can handle with the help of home remedies? It is typically the stage 1 and stage 2, wherein home remedies like buttermilk that has been blended with a whole lot of curry leaves. Yes, nothing but the easily commonly available curry leaves helps in metabolization of the fat, thereby helping in reducing the inflammation as well as the 
fat content on the liver so all what you got to do is take quarter cup yogurt or curd one cup water salt dry ginger powder and 3 to 5 sprigs of curry leaves blend it well do not bother straining it consume it by midday along with that reduce the amount of fat rich food as explained earlier in your diet plus early morning 1 hour workout any time between 6 to 8 am specifically this is applicable for stage 1 and stage 2 now if the condition has progressed further then in my opinion it is best to take up medication it could be ayurvedic medication or if your modern doctor is able to help you with any kind of treatment at least do take up that but that is it do not let it progress beyond stage 2 now one of the common questions asked by our patients are is it completely reversible yes up to grade 2 it is quite easily reversible with the help of dietary change sleep wake up cycle changes workout and with the help of home remedies but once it reaches the stages of 3 and 4 the prognosis gets poorer but still it can be treated and made better in any case do not let your liver struggle because ultimately it is the liver which decides the quality of metabolism that you have in other words it decides the quality of agni which is your overall health hope that helps